I'm gonna call you one percentile from now on. What's up, one percentile? Shit. All right, folks, it is about 8.30. I'm here at the office. Just pulled up, uh, about to go step up in there and uh, see what I could do to uh, learn more about what we do, how I could be more effective, um, how I can get laser focused on the process of how we do business. Um, and then not only that, uh, get prepared and mentally prepared for upcoming events that are coming this week. Um, I'm actually going to be heading over to um, uh, the number one Hyundai dealership in the country. Um, it's the first time I'm meeting them uh, and I'm taking it over and just making sure that I do a little bit of relationship building. Uh, also, just getting to know who they are, their identity, how they got to number one, how we can continue to be number one. And not only that, widening the gap between one and two. See, the biggest thing is when you're number one, everyone's going after you. So how do you widen the gap to the point where number two and number three? three and all these other guys can't even touch you so hopefully I could bring some type of expertise from my background hopefully I can help them continue to grow continue to sell cars and continue to move the needle when it comes to gross profit uh, nevertheless uh, hopefully you guys are are intact and ready to go and uh, ready for this ride we're gonna do uh, a full day today and uh, we're gonna see uh, if I can help people keep selling cars I like candy bars late just finished here at the office pretty much just did a preparation of meetings that i'm going to be doing this week making sure that myself and the team are all on the same page making sure that the message is correct making sure that we're not just telling um dealerships uh, great job, great job, look at us, we did a great job, but also find some faults and things that we can improve on and things that we can do better to making sure that they assassinate everything. The uh, the information that you sent me, uh, sent over to me, was that all the stuff that's co-opable? Yes. Okay. And do we do all that stuff that you listed, is that all the stuff that we do for them? Um, we do social media. We do the social media, we do social media reputation management, okay. and then the SEO. Okay, let me, let me, if you're okay with this, let me do this. I'm going to, um, because you're going to have more expertise on that than I am, so what I will do is I'll let them know that it is co-opable, but for more, like, like the details like you're telling me or asking me, then maybe that's something that you should let him know, just so he can understand it better. Is that okay? Okay. Okay. I'll just share. Yeah, I'll I'll call him and share your information with uh, with uh, him, and then uh, he can ask you those things. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. All right. Like, bye. You know, one of the things that I could appreciate is OEM involvement in trying to help dealerships improve, um, help them um, send them vigs of co-op, and help these dealerships that need help as far as budgeting and 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 making sure that the dealers know that the OEM is there to support them, but. This is really geared towards anyone that's in power. Anyone that actually makes the decision on which digital marketing company do you actually use. Now, I understand OEM is throwing out money there for co-op to help dealerships pick a approved vendor for you for digital marketing. And kudos for the OEM for, for helping the dealerships with the budget and helping them um, pay for a lot of the services that digital marketing um, companies actually charge you know it's not cheap I get it but the bottom line is this for anyone that's in power I want you to help me out and comment below and let me know your thoughts on this thing here is taking the co-op money and going off the recommendation of the OEM really the best solutions for you especially if the digital marketing company that you're currently with has taken you from zero to 100 really quick. Now I get it, but they're throwing money in front of us, John. I get that, I understand that. But you have to understand the approved vendors that they have and the money that they're sending you doesn't mean it's always the best solution for your dealership. Let's just say you take the co-op money and you break even and you make zero movement. 
Is it really a good investment to take the co-op money from the manufacturer? Or do you stick with the digital marketing company that is taking you from zero to 100 really quick? Mr. Dealership, don't forget who took you from zero to now one of the most searchable dealerships in a competitive market. I'm just saying, this is just something that I think of when I'm driving. Maybe this is something that you might need to think of, uh, especially if you're in the dealership level and you're looking at, at budgets and you're looking at your digital marketing company. Do I take the co-op money or do I stick with the digital marketing company that is killing it for me month after month, quarter after quarter, year after year? Who do you stick with? Let me know below who do you pick, co-op or company killing it for you? Let me know. It's a plantation over here. It's, it's bad. People don't want to talk about it. It's real bad over there. Yes, yes, y'all. You don't stop. KRS-One, rock on. They let the dealership cancel. Like, like the dealership that canceled us. How could the OEM let them cancel when they're doing so well? Like, we'll, we'll pay on that Don't worry. We'll get them, we'll them co-op for you. At the very least. I just pulled up to the number one Hyundai dealership in the country and I'm actually really really excited that I got here and I actually get to spend time with them today and the reason being is I love dealing with dealerships that have figured it out and how to get to that number one spot and the reason being is I like to get as much information as I can see what the best practices that they actually do to help them um, be known as the number one or number two uh, dealership in the country and then give it back to you guys and see if you guys can implement your actual dealership here we go! Look at that! Hey! hey. <laughs> this is one bad mother. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's going on? <laughs> So I just finished with Hyundai, had a great powwow relationship building, expectations for ideas how to grow them organically and seeing how we can, uh, just different ways through social media, uh, gave them some tips, some things that I use for my own business and not only that, that I'm using on a daily basis and what I share with other people as well. So we spent a lot of time on that. Um, you know, the, the dealer appreciated that a lot more because they know we don't do that service for them, but because of my background and the things that I do uh, through social media and creating content and the ideas that come out of this sick mind and how to expose the dealership and poke fun at it, um, they were all for it. So gave them some homework, some things that they could work on, and they gave us some homework and things that we need to work on, and we'll make sure that the, the partnership is a, uh, a good one. Oh, what's going on, fam bam? You know, just trying to work through it, buddy. You know, it's a busy time of month for me. Got to get all the client work done. So I'm just sitting in my office, staring outside, and we work. <laughs> Funny, because we had a couple of dealerships ask for a co op. Uh, they're like, hey, are you guys co opable? Majority of the uh, uh, OEMs we are, but some were not. And we had one dealership just recently just cancel with us because they went to NADA. They said use these digital marketing company because uh, it's co-opable. I can't just be about the documentation one needs to submit over. Why does it have to be the specific vendor? Exactly. Why can't we just, why can't we just clean it up and say, look, dude, if you're going to do paying service, you owe us this. If you're going to do social, you owe us this. If you don't proceed it in this way, we're not fucking paying you. But if you do, then we're fucking paying you. I just, I don't get it.